I want to personally say thank you for coming. I want to say thank you for the support and love because we know that without our fans, without the people who support us, we're nothing. So um, with that said, I am Robert Boom Boom James. I'm the owner of Boom Fitness Center. I'm 26 years old, Cincinnati, Ohio, where all the heavy hitters are coming from. I'm the new face that you're going to see. You're going to keep on seeing. You're going to keep on seeing. You're going to keep on seeing. If a world title comes, great. If, if any title comes, great. You know, but what I care about is the title to, to win over these souls to Christ. Boxing has allowed me to have an avenue to be a blessing to these people, to, you know, you know, pursue my ministry, you know, through a way that's not boring or, you know, tedious to these young folks, it's something they can relate to, something they can look up to, something they can uh, look forward to being. What is boom? 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 Boom. I want to better my overall movement every day. And that's, that's, that's all I'm concerned about. I don't care about my name and lights. If people chant my name, what I care about is that they chant their own name that they build their own self-confidence and their own self-worth every single day. And if I can do that, man, God is good. You know, it's funny, out the womb, my uncle Troy in Vegas, he uh, he gave me the name Boom Boom because he said I came out the womb swinging. You know, said when I came out the womb, you know, the doctor was you know, having to slip a couple punches that I came out swinging. And he said, man, look at your little Boom Boom. But it never really stuck. Uh, actually, it was a little Bambino for my mama. But, uh, but then it quickly changed over to uh, Boom Boom when I started boxing when I was 12 years old. And I went down to the Finley Street neighborhood house, uh, Coach Roy Dale, and he had his daughters there. And uh, they said, no, nah, he's way too pretty to box. No, nah, he's just way too pretty. So they started calling me Babyface. So then it was Boom Boom Babyface. And then after that, it, uh, it, it quickly dropped off the Babyface when I started uh, messing up some folk. You know, people did put in their, their elite fighters and um, well, let's just say it didn't go too well for him. You know what got me into fighting was Muhammad Ali. You know, I started at a very young age. Man, I had I had my idols just like any other fighter does. I don't believe it. these fighters uh, are really in it for the you know for the right reason. If they didn't have an idol growing up, such as Bruce Lee, who I adored, have all his movies when I grew up. And uh, if they didn't have an idol such as Muhammad Ali, if, if it wasn't for Muhammad Ali, I wouldn't be boxing today. If it wasn't for Muhammad Ali, man, I don't know how many people I would have not helped had it not been for that man. Because, uh, you know, I think that's what, what makes you great. You know, people always debate on who's the best. TBE, who's the best? Uh, what I answer is the best is the person who can help the most people. So I strive every single day to be the best. I want to be influential to these young folk. You know, we're teachers. We're teachers in the, in, the, in the sense that, you know, you hear all these teachers these days, oh, this kid's just dumb. He, you know what, he's just not getting it the way you give it to him. That's my job, is to deliver it, and as we call it, our duplicatable process, in a way that, okay, you, you might not be as quick. I mean, call me slow, you right. How can you deliver it to me? In a, in a way that I get it, not that boom boom get it, not that, you know, the top elite fighters get it. I'm not a top elite fighter. I, I, I'm a four year old who has comprehension problems, who has mental and physical disabilities. Can I still be better? Can I better my overall movement? And um, we, we, we make it so that they can.